Welcome to this new video about Kaui. In the previous videos, we have looked at the initial tenant creation and configuration, and more specifically, created our first catalog for our streaming video business. At this point, we will create a few accounts and subscriptions and look at the various invoices and payments generated by the system. We're going to start by creating a customer account for Jamie. For the sake of simplicity, we will only fill a few of the accounts filled in the form, such as the name, the external key, which is the ID that can be tracked outside of Killbill, and the email. As we can see, the account has been created successfully, and so we can now review the various sections. On top, we have the account information, where we can see the values we have entered, but also the unique ID generated by the system. The menu on the left corner allows you to manage the various tags attached to the account. For instance, setting auto-invoicing off would disable automatic invoice generation for this account. On the bottom left, we have the billing info. We can see the account balance and credit on the account. The overdue status, which is good. We can see the BCD currently set to zero because we did not specify it when creating the account. And because there is no subscription attached to the account, system did not sell it. The next invoice date is also unset for the same reason. Finally, the notify for invoice switch allows you to set whether the account should receive email notification on new invoice generation. On the right, we have a section called payment methods, which is used to specify and view the current payment methods attached to the account. At this point, we will add a new payment method and specify the Stripe plugin. The Stripe plugin must have been deployed, started, and configured properly for that tenant in order to work correctly. For the sake of simplicity, we will also enter a subset of all the fields from that form. We will leave the external key empty, which means the system will generate a unique ID, specify the Killbill Stripe plugin, and add a Visa credit card. Finally, we will set that payment method to be the default one that is used for all the recurring payments. We can now see our new payment methods in the payment method section on the account. The little star indicates that it has been set as default. At this point, we will create a few subscriptions for Jamie. We will first create an unlimited streaming subscription followed by a DVD add-on, which is only available on the unlimited streaming plan. Because both plans have been configured with a 7 days trial, we will see two $0 invoices and no payment. We can verify that on the account timeline. We can see the events for creation of the subscriptions. Note also that there is one for the start of the billing date and one for the start of the entitlement, since those two can be kept separate. We can also see the invoice events. Finally, we can see the events in the future for the recurring phase. Let's now move the clock in the future to each of the effective date of the phase event. If we now look at the invoices, we will see one new invoice with two items. One for the streaming unlimited plan and one for the DVD invoicing in advance for the coming month. We can also see from that invoice that a payment has been generated and was successful. If we look on the account, we can now see a BCD set to the first of the month because we started our trial on October 25th and specify a seven days trial so the first billing date was chosen by the system to be November 1st, and thus avoid any leading proration. The next billing date is set for December 1st, since all subscriptions are monthly plans. This brief video should provide you with a rough idea of how Kaui works, and we encourage you to set up the system and try it on your own.